Now, this is the big one. I think we're on the big one, aren't we? Yeah, aren't I we? think we are. Yeah, we're on the biggie. Well, now we're on the biggie. I've got. I've really got to think about this one because. We, oh well, yeah, because you and I, you and I. So, so, <clears throat> this is the good thing about doing a channel, doing a YouTube channel, yeah, making your, videos. Your thoughts and ideas can develop. Absolutely, and not only that, and that is you do a lot of research. In between each in, video. Well, yeah, in between each video, so that you know that the information that you're hoping to yeah. put out is accurate. Yeah, you know? so let's start at the beginning. So let's start at the beginning. The beginning was that we did we did a, a video on called The Great O2 Deception. Mm. That was the beginning. Because you and I had this thing about, well, Ox, about oxygen no, it was and a rockets it was a fire working triangle. in space. It was the fire triangle that fire started, triangle. Off, yeah. started off because fire triangle, if you bring it up on the screen, yeah, 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 I'll bring oxygen, it up. heat and fuel. Oxygen, now, heat, fuel. to me, that is wrong, is wrong because for anything to burn or for anything to breathe on the, any mammal to breathe on the plane, you need air. You need air. So the fire triangle should read air heat and fuel absolutely absolutely but the reason why i think they've put in oxygen is to give people the illusion the illusion that you only need oxygen to breathe that you need that humans only need to have oxygen, oxygen to, breathe. to breathe because then that having that understanding would support rocket space travel space travel anywhere absolutely even into the furthest galaxy forever long millions of miles away forever long and rockets working in space and lots of other things but essentially so we, we did so you we, and i think it's, that's absolutely so bollocks. we did the great o2 deception video yeah to look at how oxygen was actually created discovered how, sorry, no, how, how it was discovered, discovered and how it was made how it's made how it's now made and we came to the conclusion from that that oxygen all the con con constituent gases that form air form air oxygen nitrogen argon, argon they're all the same carbon, stuff. Carbon dioxide. They're all the same stuff. Yeah, it's just air. It's just air. Yeah. I'll be <clears> unsure <throat> about carbon dioxide. I'm, I'm unsure about that. I'd have to... Uh, no, it's just air. Sure. So, because they have similar properties. Um, I know ar I know, argon, uh, nitrogen and oxygen have similar properties, yeah. Unsure about carbon but anyway. dioxide. Anyway, it's, it's all air. It's all air. Different, yeah. different, grades. different grades. It's just like sand, where you've got different grits, different sizes of sand. sand. Like sandpaper, you have different grits of sandpaper. Absolutely, but they're all sandpaper. It's all sand that's on the paper. Absolutely. Yeah, of course. So then that took us then on from that great O2 deception to then look at electrolysis, because how does the International Space Station? Absolutely. Or any spacecraft, or any produce, space vehicle, produce, produce oxygen. oxygen, and then they say, "Well, we do this through electrolysis." So we watched this video by with Professor Shitload. Professor Shitload, Shitload. yeah, which I'm trying to. No, 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 he's just bring up on the yeah, thing, sure. Who says at the end of his um, demonstration? There you go. There you go. Uh, production of oxygen through electr uh, electrolysis of water. Absolutely. Now, we've actually looked at several demonstrations of electrolysis. With w water. And we have come to the conclusion. That it's bollocks. That it's a load of shit because water cannot conduct electricity. electricity. Absolutely. Therefore, plays no role in the electrolysis process. Electrolytic process. Uh, yeah, electrolytic process. It's only because if water facilitates it. It facilitates it, but it plays no, plays no active part. Active in part. It. Absolutely. It's, it's inert. But what we've actually discovered is that they usually use anything sodium based. They use either um, salt, salt or acid. Acid. To uh, solutions. Solutions. So acid or salt mixed with water in order for electrolysis to work. Absolutely. But one of the things that you have to ask yourself is it the water that's being electrolyzed? Or is it the salt or acid that's, that's being within the water? That's within the water that's, that's being, being electrolyzed. electrolyzed. What we're saying is that what we're saying is that it's the salt or acid that's being converted into gases 
through the process of el- electrolysis. Absolutely, yeah. Not the water. Because, it, in other words, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the acid or the salt that is conducting the electricity. Tricity. Absolutely. So that is being electrolyzed. Yeah, it's, that's the water just acts as the medium in which f- for that to occur, for that Absolutely. reaction to occur. So then that led us on to doing our Globetrotter Challenge. Challenge. I.e., what, where is the evidence, is there any evidence that water is made up of hydrogen and, and oxygen. oxygen. Yeah, because if, if, if they can't, if they can't um, split those two gases in so, two through so, the process of electrolysis, absolutely. like we're led to believe. Absolutely, yeah. How do they know that there is oxygen and hydrogen in water? Absolutely. Well, you've got... Uh, because you, yeah. can't, you can't do anything with it. You can't cut it in half with a knife. Absolutely, yeah. You can't electrolyse it. Absolutely. So, so we've actually come to the conclusion, conclusion in all this, in, in all this, that water, water is not made up of hydrogen and, and oxygen. oxygen. Water is just water. water, absolutely, and should have its own, its own chemical co- element n- name. Water, water, aqueous similius, if you want to use Latin or yeah, something. Yeah, whatever. Aqua, but it's only one element and this this is kind of interesting because it takes us on to um, thought that was going on hundreds of years ago when they were looking at the the elements of the earth the elements there are four elements of the yeah. earth, wasn't it? air, earth, air, air, air fire air. water yeah basically absolutely because oh, water yeah as as you've mentioned water we consider water to be should be an element on its own Don't, right in its own right. yeah so let's let's have a little watch of this for a little while you ready go on then Wait there, hold on, there we go. Water is the most abundant liquid on the planet, and everyone's heard of H2O. But do they know what it means? Do you know what water's made up of? H2O, hydrogen and oxygen. It's made up of hydrogen and oxygen. H2O. 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 Everyone knows the formula for water, H2O. No clue. Oxygen, water, I don't know. Yeah. Hydrogen, oxygen, oxygen. carbon. Yeah. No, it's yeah. hydrogen oh, and oxygen. So it's hydrogen times two and oxygen. <laughs> do you think you could maybe draw a water molecule if... Yeah? Yeah, from it? Oh, beautiful. I'm impressed. Didn't get A level, A star for nothing. <laughs> Two parts oxygen, one part hydrogen. It's a little harder than it seems, it would seem. A water molecule? I can yeah. have a go. That's uh, pretty good, I like it. <laughs> water molecule. And do you know what um, water's made out of, scientifically speaking? No, I don't. Water molecule, yeah. H2O. Uh... Very nice. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Two um, H's and an O. H2O. What's the O stand for? Oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. Together you guys could be inventing cold fusion. That could be the next... Anyway, I have to admit, yeah, so... Well, they're good at repeating information. They're good they? at... Yeah, even I, even I thought a lot of these people... A lot of these people were just repeating information that they've been told sure. by other people in their education. I know, and yet not one of them stopped and thought, well, hold on. How can it be oxygen and hydrogen when they're two gases? How can two gases exist as a liquid? Absolutely, at room temperature. At room temperature as well. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's, it's well, even it's in the ridiculous. even in freezing colder temperatures. Oh, sorry, yeah, even, even free, colder yeah. colder temperatures. How can water exist? It's ridiculous. How, sorry, how can two gases exist as water as a liquid? It can't. It it's can't. impossible. It's impossible. Absolutely. Um, it's hard to know where to go from here, isn't it? Really, because we've we've basically which, which further supports our view, view that water should be an element in its own oh, right. right. Absolutely, of course, because nobody can prove that there's oxygen and hydrogen, hydrogen. in water, because you can only extract those gases from other uh, methods, m- other compounds that are placed in the water. Absolutely, yeah, of course. Um, now. So you, you see, another thing this is, see, this has um, serious implications, obviously, not only for, for uh, space travel, because the, we're, we're told that astronauts just can breathe, can, can survive in oxygen-rich environments. Mm. Low pressure. They went to the moon and they went to the Gemini missions and the Apollo missions, so they had low pressure and oxygen-rich environments. Mm, yeah. But we know that you can get oxygen toxicity for breathing in air that has been purified that there's been filtered filters yeah 
all of a lot of the impurities been taken because out. Because you need the impurities. You need the impurities. The body needs it. It's part of life. So th- this is this is this is big stuff, isn't it? This is super big stuff. Absolutely. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's wicked. Now I'm trying to I was, think. I was actually going to mention as well. Yeah. If we if you bring up the the screen with those two the side guys. Yeah. Oh, the side guys. Yeah. When you actually noticed. Um, them doing their experiment, yeah, 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 when they electrolyzed salt solution, salt solution in water. Well, salt solution, anything in solution oh, sorry, yeah. water. When they electrolyzed that, the color of the water went very murky and horrible, horrible, absolutely. And you wouldn't really drink that, or you wouldn't really want to use that for anything else, would Abs- you? No, absolutely not. So you can't be on this international space station. Absolutely, it's ridiculous. Floating around um, alleged space, absolutely, or higher on a sealed tin higher can, altitude, without fresh air, producing your own oxygen through absolutely. electrolysis. Yeah, I know. Yeah, when you can't do anything with the water. Anyway, afterwards, after the process. After the process, yeah, it's got to be a, a waste material. It's all a cold. And even the guy on the Pen- USS Pennsylvania, with their oxygen, who, who kind of like worked their oxygen generator, even he is under a false illusion that the oxygen is, is actually going into the air system. The air system, because it can't be. If they're using the salt water that's surrounding the submarine, yeah. they'll only produce chlorine gas. gas. And you can't breathe in electron- chlorine and gas. And you can't breathe in. It's probably harmful for you. To breathe in. Now, they might use the chlorine gas produced as ballast. Which would make sense, yes. So what we're beginning to discover is that there is a there is a big, big, big misrepresentation of the truth regarding oxygen, water, Breathing, respiration, Good. absolutely, yeah. f- possibly photosynthesis. Yes. The whole idea yeah. of we breathe in the oxygen, plant. we absorb oxygen, and we ex ex expire CO two, um, and plants breathe in CO two and release oxygen. Yes. That whole idea could well be bollocks. Absolutely, and, uh, and one, one, so one particular example that we'll one great example that we'll look at is fish. Is fish because I watched. Um, I watched this little bit, uh, if I've got to find it, you see, that's the trouble. I watched this video here, which is fish breathing. Because I wanted to know, well, well, we breathe, don't we? <sighs> yeah, we breathe air. We breathe air. So I thought to myself, yeah, but we're told, we're told by others that we breathe in, we absorb oxygen and we exhale carbon dioxide. Mm-hmm. So I thought, well, how do fish actually breathe? Yeah. In, in water. Well, come on, let's have a look. So let's have a little play of this. Fish breathe or get their oxygen from water. Instead of using lungs, fish breathe with organs called gills. Most fish have four pairs of gills enclosed in a gill chamber on each side of the head. On the outside of the body, a flap of bone called a gill cover protects the gills of bony fish. To get oxygen, fish gulp water through the mouth and pump it over the gills. In many fish, the breathing process begins when the gill covers close and the mouth opens. The walls of the mouth then move inward. The mouth partially closes and the gill covers open. This action forces the water from the mouth into the gill chambers. The inside of each gill consists of fleshy, thread-like filaments. Water from the mouth passes over the filaments. The filaments are closely spaced along a gill arch in two rows. Each filament has many tiny extensions called lamellae. Blood flowing through the lamella takes oxygen from the water and releases carbon dioxide into the water. After the fish receives its oxygen, the water passes out through the gill openings and the breathing process begins again. Right, the most important part to remember in this video and that is the fish, as the water passes over over the or through the gills, water, um, oxygen is extracted from mm. the water, and CO two is emitted, it's released, a, is released. It's a waste product, Products. and like all waste products um, that like humans and animals creatures um, uh, give 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 yeah. off. Yeah, like farting. I thought they they all um, ex, they're all all waste products are external to the body. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, so if yeah. you have a poo, it comes out. Of yeah. You. And I know fish have a poo as well. They poo. Now, yeah. now I watched. Now, do you, can you notice anything different 
or anything weird about this this video here got it's a it's a lovely because uh, that's one tank. thing that's one thing with water and that is oh. you would be able to see bubbles well you see this is the thing you see now i'm looking at these fish i know they're small but they're allegedly we're told they're breathing in they're taking they're extracting the oxygen from the water and they are giving off co2, CO2. okay now so sharks large fish do this as well for sharks and they are enormous some of them mm. come up, can be up to 15 feet long yeah so where's the uh, where are the where are the co2 bubbles absolutely now let's have a little look at some scuba divers underwater we are we're told that these people um Breathe in the oxygen from the tanks. Think, yeah. Okay. Or the air. Or the air, whatever. Yeah. And the bubbles you see are the uh, waste product, yeah. the CO2. So yeah. let's have a little watch. You can see the bubbles very clearly there. You know, so wait there. Let's have a little. Yeah. Oh, do we don't want to see more of that? Let's let's see there. Let's see some bubbles there. Yeah, there, there we go. go. The bubbles, bubbles. The bubbles are giving off because because she's breathing out. So that's a waste product, you know. So there you go super duper but when we look at the fish when we look at the fish here we go there we go not one bubble not one bubble yeah not one bubble yeah so that tells me that tells me that these fish are not emitting a gas it's there's no gaseous exchange going on in in, in the, their in, in their, their bodies through respiration well in again water. but again this this also you ask yourself how can a liquid be comprised of two gases absolutely yeah of course how how it's it's impossible i yeah, know yeah it's so what you what because we've talked about this and what you and me have come to the conclusion is that fish just breathe water, water. absolutely fish breathe water. water like we breathe air like we breathe air. fish breathe, breathe water. water absolutely yeah it's amazing how when you as soon as you start becoming a flat earther and you start picking all this bollocks apart oxygen hydrogen all and yeah. all this nonsense science you start beginning to realize that the ancients were very true you had the four elements air water fire oh. earth yeah. No, no, because you can't come away from those you can't come away from the basic constituents of life of life absolutely yeah. you know and so, this is where science is going wrong because it's building up this understanding that is far from reality, reality. absolutely yeah. you know far from reality yeah. i mean if there's gaseous exchange going on with these fish breathing oxygen and emitting carbon dioxide where's the bubbles well yeah because you would see bubbles and when is it strange how because it, yeah is it yeah. strange if you ever you see an animated version of fish breathing Oh, of course. You yeah. always see bubbles coming. Yeah, up. they all. Yeah, humans always put bubbles on these animated fish to give people the impression that, they're that they're fish breathing. are actually breathing. breathing, and yet it's not like that at all. Yeah, but it's like you. It's like you. You you you, you can breathe, be breathing in air now. Absolutely. <sighs> you know, you breathe in air, but the fish just do that with water. Absolutely. There's no difference. It's just a different medium different medium yeah now if anybody thinks that we are absolutely wrong or we're not so whatever you know feel free to leave a comment but you know if you please watch the um uh, the globe trotter science challenge number two um because we'd really like to see some evidence you know if there's h2o if water is h2o hydrogen and oxygen we'd like to see some evidence that that is true true absolutely you know because to me at the moment <clears throat> i'm beginning to realize that it's just a generic statement it's a spurious comment yeah, I know, yeah. it's a given yeah i know yeah a bit like evolution a bit like gravity a bit like gravity it's they're givens but there's no evidence to support them one little bit. bit yeah absolutely so there we go so so there we go and I, to be honest with you i think that wraps it up really yeah nice I don't quick think nice quick we video need to i mean if also um it would be very good for people to re do a bit of research on the hydrolysis of water if you watch the videos um you'll start realizing that you can't hydrolysize water electrolyze electrolyze what's it what, i'm getting mixed up oh, don't worry about it oh sorry if you look up the electrolysis of water, water yeah. do apologize they're not actually electrolyzing water. water no they're they're electrolyzing a solution well whatever they put in the water absolutely which is normally sodium 
or an acid. Yeah, water is merely so, a, a medium that facilitates the electrolysis. So, for an example, I got it right that time. Yeah, so, e for e example, if you have hydrochloric acid, for Absolutely. example, and you pass and you make that and put that in, into a solution or neat, even neat. I'm unsure whether you could do it neat. Well, and then if know. you if you pass an electric current Comfort. through that, you will get hydrogen and chlorine, 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 chlorine gas. gas. Absolutely, but you won't get oxygen. Absolutely. Or, yeah, you won't, you won't get, oxygen. get oxygen. Absolutely. It's, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Absolutely. People need, really seriously need to wake up because they are being bent over backwards and, and shafted. shafted big time. Yeah, because they're provide, given a false reality. So all these people, all these people who, who uh, what ended up being asked, you know, all these people here who end up being asked, you know, what this is and what that is, all these people, like her, these, these three lads there, you know, they're just repeating. They're just repeating information that they've been told that is inaccurate. True. Absolutely, that is not true. All of them. All of them. Absolutely. Yeah. Duh, duh, duh. And she, she did A levels. This yeah, girl. Duh, duh. Hey? But how can you know, two gases? It's just a exist diagram. A, but it exists on a piece of paper. How can two gases exist as a liquid? Absolutely. So, mm. but anyway, what is water made of? Well, it's certainly not H two O. Yeah. But just as a, a little quick. Uh, uh, we'll leave people with a little quick, quick one. What's uh, a quick one? A little quick one, and that is um, with this. This is brilliant. This is. We're just gonna. We're just gonna. We're just gonna, uh, we're just gonna turn the volume off because it's rubbish. So wait, there. Just, just, just play it. Yeah, there. Yeah, I don't. We don't need the volume. That's all. Now, watch. This is a clip from the International Space, Space Station. Station. Obviously, doing their interview with uh, <sighs> ground control to major toll. Go on. Here yeah, we go. Right, I've now, a lot of these interviews as well. Pure the the space. most interesting <laughs> part to actually think about this one, and that no, is, no, are they all filmed together? Are they? Well, I personally don't think they're all filmed together in one shot at yeah, all. Absolutely, the two at the back are on a separate recording than, than the two at the front. Yeah, and you tell why. You can tell why. You can tell why. You can easily tell why. It's because when this guy does his flip. Now I'd be worried about oh. his feet whacking me in the face. Absolutely, but he's he's oblivious to. He's it. oblivious to him even the guy, being there. The guy at the back wearing the stripe, stripey, black top, and goldy. He's oblivious to, to what the guy's doing in front, front of him. him. Absolutely, yeah. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. So the two at the back are filmed separately to the two at the front. Yeah. So I yeah, what's happening is that the two at the back are filmed first. Yeah. And then the the two the guys at the front. Are superimposed on top of that uh, imagery. Absolutely, that, yeah. that's how they done that. Uh, how yeah. they did that. Uh, it's all it's all an illusion, guys. Yeah, absolutely, it's all bollocks. It's all it's rubbish. All an illusion. So yeah, there we go. So there we go. Anyway, so just just thought I'd like to explain it. So not only have we got space bollocks, space faking. We got the heart H two O. We got H two O bullshit now. Yeah, you know, so if anyone is asked, uh, can I, do, do you know what makes up water? Just say water. Water, absolutely. Water, water is water. Water is water. It's not anything else. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's like when is a door a door? When it's a door. Absolutely, yeah. When is a table a table? When it's a table. When it's a table. Absolutely, absolutely. of course. Yeah. When is a car a car? When it's, it's a, car. a car. Yeah. When is water water? When it's water. Absolutely, of course. So, um, yeah, I, uh, hopefully it will generate some kind of um, uh, discussion and stuff. Uh, anyway, so uh, that that is our firm understanding at the moment. Absolutely. Unless somebody's got some evidence that oxygen uh, and hydrogen, hydrogen are both contained within the water, water. Uh, that we find, um, then um, I'm I, that's my. Let's have it. Let's have it. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm sticking to. But we won't find it. We won't get it. We won't get any because it's all bollocks. All bollocks. Absolutely. So isn't it amazing that you go to school, really, when you think about it, and you begin to realise now. How 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 on earth could you not have kind of like ever thought that it was bollocks? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's amazing, isn't but it? But that, that's man's world for you, isn't it? Man's world, absolutely. Because at some point, everyone learns that a lot of stuff in man's world is bollocks. Yes, absolutely. Which absolutely. is unfortunate. Which is the whole point of our channel, isn't it? Absolutely. Which is absolutely. unfortunate, but... There you go. Anyway, I think that'll awesome. wrap it up. Uh, thanks ever so much, Peter, for oh, your time. It's been a pleasure time. for this short video. And your presence, yes. And we'll be back again with a longer, longer version for our yeah. diehard subscribers. And we also have to, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, okay. Thanks so much. Bye. Ta da.
The earth isn't round, it's flat. How do you know? I've observed it in all my travels over Europe. It's flat everywhere, it's flat. 